In this video, I'm going to talk about how to write the equation of a line uh, from two given points. Okay, so in this graph, uh, this is x axis, y axis, you've got this point. Uh, so let us write the coordinate of that point, which is this is minus 3, uh, this is 7. So this point is minus 3, comma 7, and this point is 3, comma 3. Okay, so I like to do using uh, a method called intercept or gradient intercept method or intercept gradient method. It's called, the name of the method is called or is known as gradient intercept method. Now, uh, in this method, what we do is we try to find the gradient and then try to find the intercept, that is the y-intercept. Yeah, to find the gradient, you basically join the points uh, by a right angle triangle. Okay, so you can join uh, going. Uh, first, you can go any way. You can either go horizontal and then vertical. So let us go first like this. So this is joining, so this is the run and this is the rise. It, did, it, uh, it would have not mattered if you had gone this way and then this way, okay, so it doesn't matter. So this is the first we want to find what's the gradient, okay, so my first intention is to find the gradient, okay, which is uh, written by the letter M. So if you know the general formula of a, of a line is Y is equal to MX plus C where M is the gradient and C is the y-intercept. So M, which is your gradient, is defined by the formula rise over run. Okay, so if you've seen my previous other videos, you can uh, listen to it and understand why your rise or when your rise can be positive or negative, the same way when can your run be positive or negative. So your run you're running to the right, okay? So by convention, when you're going to the right, it's positive. And if you're going to the left, it's negative. So this is your run in your positive direction. So your run is from, where are you running from? You're running from minus three to three. That means you're running six to the right. And so that's why you write a plus there. You don't write a plus, it's understood. Your rise, is you're rising down, okay, you're going down. So if you're going down, it's negative. If you're going to the right, if you also think in a philosophical way, if you're going to the right, you're doing things right, so it's positive. If you're going to the left, you are taking the wrong direction, so it's negative. Same way, if you're going up, it's positive. If you're going down, it's negative. Your rise is negative. So how much you're rising? So you go, you're rising from seven to seven to four. You can count the squares, one, two, three, four. So your rise is negative four. Okay, am I right? Yeah. So one, two, three, four. So your gradient is rise over run, which is minus four over six, which is nothing but minus two thirds, dividing both by two. So the equation is y is equal to minus 2x, you write like this, gradient is mx, so you write minus 2x over 3 plus c. Okay, now you have to figure out what is c. Now to figure out c, you can substitute any, even without by looking at the graph, it seems the y-intercept is 5, but we need to confirm it, we need to find it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute, I'm writing S substitute in short, substitute X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to 3. Now, why did I do that? It is because 3 comma 3 is a point on this line. So we are saying on this line, when X is 3, Y is 3. So in place of X, I can put 3. And in place of Y, I can put also 3. So putting... 3 and 3 in the equation, so that is 3 
is equal to minus 2 times 3 over 3 plus C. So this 3 and 3 gets cancelled. So 3 is negative 2 plus C. Now if you add 2 to this side, you have to add 2 to this side. Okay. So this and this gets cancelled. Minus 2 and plus 2 gets cancelled. So your C is equal to 5. And your graph does make this answer does make sense from your graph. Your y-intercept seems to be or is phi. So the equation of this line is y is equal to minus 2x over 3 plus phi, just like that. So this is your answer. But let us look at one more question here. Here the same approach. Uh, the y-intercept seems to be negative 6, but we need to figure that out. So the first thing is, let me write the general equation, y is equal to mx plus c. So first find the gradient. So I'll run first. So this is my run and this is the rise. So you're joining these two points by a right angle triangle. So first your rise is to the right. Okay. And even looking at the line, if you have seen my previous video, I have discussed that you should have a sense of your gradient. That means whether it's positive or negative. So how can you make that sense? If your line is from the left to the right is sloping up or moving up, it is it has a positive gradient. So the run, so what's your run? The, your ran from minus 6 to 5. So from minus 6 to 0, that's a run of 6. And 6 plus 5 is 11. Am I right? So, so this point, so let us write the coordinate of this point. The coordinate of this point is minus, oh sorry, so this is minus 5 comma 9. Okay, so here the run is not from 6, it's from minus 5. Okay, am I right? So, so, so you're running, and this point is 5 comma negative 3. 5 comma, so that's why it's good to write the coordinate. So the run for run, you're looking at the x coordinate if you want to think in a different way. You're running from minus phi to plus phi. Okay, or this is your x coordinate. For run, that's the change in x. Okay, so in run can also be described as a change in x value, x coordinate. So the run is 10. And your rise is the change in your y value, okay, y coordinate. So you're running from 9 to, so this is negative 9, sorry. This is negative 9. So your run is from negative 9, this is here, to negative 3. Okay. So from negative 9 to negative 3, your run rises 6. Okay. So your M is rise over runs, which is 6 over 10, okay, which can be written as 3 over 5, or 6 over 10 can be written as a fraction very easily this is 0 0.6 so your equation is y is equal to 0 0.6 x plus c now which can we which point can we put you can put any of the point so let's put 5 comma negative 3 okay so now you can say now when x is 5 y is negative 3 on this line on this line, we can see when x is 5, y is negative 3. So this can be is satisfied in this equation. I can put minus 3 is equal to 0 0.6 times 5 plus c. So minus c, so 0 0.6 times, use a calculator, it is 3, but always good to check. 0 0.6 times 5 is 3. So this is 3 plus C. So if you add, if you take away 3 from this side, because I want to get rid of this plus 3, you have to take away 3 from this side. Or logically also you can understand uh, C has to be negative 6. So this and this gets cancelled. So C is equal to negative 6. And your graph also makes sense. Y-intercept is negative 6. 
So the equation of this line is y is equal to 0.6x plus 6. Okay. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I would like you to do this next question as a challenge. I'll get back to you once I have, uh, once you have done it. Okay, I'll give you enough time. So I would like you to do this question yourself. And uh, if you get the same answer as that I'm getting, you can be proud of yourself.